Good evening. I like to read a poem. Dig this real. One dingness. And tomorrow, I reach out. I crave disappointment. I ache. Forgive these five sins. Eating through your brain. Alone. The center. Alone. Skibi baba. Skibi baba. Glam bake. Grotesque. I reach out. B and Gracias. Muchísimas gracias. Lola? What are you doing here? This crowd doesn't go much for souvenir pictures, except maybe of Lenin. Shh! Manny, I'm on a stakeout! I'm gonna prove to Maximino once and for all that Olivia's no good for him! Still hung up on Max, eh? Take my advice, Angel. Forget about him. He's a gambling racketeer. <laughs> like you. Oh, that hurts, baby. Come on, sugar. How about a kiss for the road? Oh, ick. Don't let me down, Nick. You're a lawyer. You're not supposed to have feelings. I don't, but I know a good tart when I see one. Hey! If Maximino sees that, we're going to end up in matching terracotta pots. Don't be silly. He wouldn't hurt me. He loves me. Uh. Manny, at last we're alone. Tell me, how are the bourgeoisie? Fine. How's Max? Oh, Gramps, don't start. I'm a little worried about Lola. That's because she's doomed, Manny. She fell in love with Maximino. That's the one mistake I never made. Do you think Nick would hurt her? Only if he finds her, and take it from me. He's not good at finding things. What are you doing with a snake like Nick? I'd lay it on you, Manny, but uh, I don't think you'd get it. Messing around with your boyfriend's lawyer is pretty dangerous. Oh, maybe I was wrong. You do get it. A little dark in here, don't you think? Dark and cold, like the hearts of men. Uh, you know, I'm thinking of buying this place. Really? I thought about buying yours for a while, but then I just decided to ask my boyfriend, Max to buy it for me. You can have it. I'm leaving town. Manny, you sound so exciting all of a sudden. Why are you leaving town? Johnny Law, baby. You see, I'm a grifter. I'm bad news. Yeah, right. You're running after that ghost chick everyone says you're still so uptight about. Well, I have a poem I wrote just for you. Pay attention, because it's pretty short. Here it goes. Choo. Ah. <laughs> Open mic night seems like a big hit. It always takes those timid souls a while to get up the nerve. Maybe it would help if you went up there and started things rolling. Oh, Manny, read poetry in my own club? That would be like this whole place was just a big temple set up to worship me. Oh, come. Okay, dig, dig this, real. Wantingness. And tomorrow, I reach out. I crave disappointment. I ache. Forgive these five sins. Eating through your brain. Alone. The center. Alone. Ski. Be. Ba. Ba. Clambic. Grotesque. I reach out. Hey. You stole my poem. Consider it an homage. Well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. Ooh, smells like this door leads to the kitchen.
Just a dab will drop you. Hey, man, you didn't see me put the secret ingredient in these coffin shooters, did you? Relax. Olivia stole the recipe from me in the first place. Yeah. She steals from the rich and gives to me to pour. These plates are filthy. I'm not gonna eat off of dirty plates, and I'm not going to clean them. Nothing in the dishwasher. Not to sound like a capitalist oppressor, but I have people who do that for me now. I don't get the feeling those cleaning supplies are used much around here. Let the waiter clean up after himself. The sink is full of dirty hookah water. I'm not gonna drink dirty hookah water and I can't carry it with my bare hands. Strong stuff. That ought to kill the pain. Hello! Hmm. No effect. So, uh, what did you think of the poem? I liked it. It was sad and beautiful, like my mother. I despised it. It was too short. It said nothing to me, like my father. I had no feelings about it. It was aloof and licked itself too much, like my cat, Mr. Trotsky. Hey, can I borrow this book? Why? So you can freak out our plans for organizing labor and go rat us out to your pal, Chief Bogan? Hey, I'm just looking for something to read on the can, all right? No dice, Cumberbund. Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend, Salvador Limones? Salvador Limones is a fairy tale, a spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Limones, salute you, Manuel Calavera? A great ally in this noble revolution. You really know Salvador Limones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. Wow. Heavy. Hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... Viva la revolucion. Oh, man. Would you cats mind if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother. I think these are the words you're looking for. The workers shall control the means of production. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it. That's what I've been trying to say. Who will stop the fat cats of industry from building these ships with the pollen of the exploited working class? I say we fight back! Yeah, that's
What's this? Maybe a bee agitator? I say lay down your tools right now and show the man just who makes the honey around here. You know, I always thought bees came in two colors, yellow and black. But you look all red to me, my friend. Ah! Hey, what are you doing? We've got the right to assemble peacefully. Good. You're going to need a lot of assembly after we take you apart, comrade. Betty! Get me a lawyer! Get me a lawyer! Logan, that's gonna make it tough to spring the kid and get him back out here. Good thing I know a lawyer who owes me a favor. There it is. Max's giant cat racetrack. How's a regular guy with three roulette tables supposed to compete with that? <laughs> 